I'm Tara Oakland. This is brand new Shadow Secret Tarot. It comes with a sticker. Well, the plumb lines on the sticker are a bit off, so I think that that was handmade. I believe it was handmade because, like, the whole side is missing here, and then over here it has a side. It's not consistent. It's kind of off a little bit, so it looks like they made it themselves, so cool. I mean, you know, work that cricket. Shadow Secret Tarot is here indeed. Here is the hardbound box, and it comes looking like that. Looks pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Here's the back of the cards, and it seems like it is this hand, hand wrapped, I guess. Is it hand sealed? Maybe. It may be hand sealed too, because this is really thin, kind of, uh, really kind of thin. Yeah, look at how thin that is. Like if when it comes from the uh, printer, it's usually not that thin. So maybe a Cricut cut uh, thing over here, maybe hand wrapped. It is lightweight, I gotta say, it is kind of lightweight. And when I was talking to people about it, I did give it a little bit of a bend. So you can you can bend that pretty good. You can bend that pretty good. So it is it is it is kind of lightweight. Kind of lightweight. So let's go for this. Beautiful cards though, I gotta say now. It is absolutely stunning cards. I love the use of purple. I love kind of the dark background with the purple highlights in it. I love the realism in here. It looks really good. So uh, it looks, I mean, it's really great. Uh, card quality is not bad. Well, it comes all the way up to here. I mean, that's like a 50% twist. Wow, it comes to here. That's a 50, that's a 90 degree bend. Ninety degree bend at a max peak. I've never seen that before in any card. So that's very interesting indeed. Never, ever, ever seen a ninety degree uh, bend when I flip it. We have the lemma skate on the magician. Very pretty card too. Again, love the purple high priestess card. Very pretty with kind of the moon. Uh, we do have lots and lots and lots of animal cards to choose from in tarot decks, so this is another deck uh, with animals. Empress, uh, I love how, I love the text imprint here. So the text is not, it's not too much, it's not too big, it's not too small, it's just right. It blends well with the card. I think the graphics are stunning. Very, very pretty. So you have the emperor and the empress. Uh, kind of cool there. I wouldn't mind the numbers on the cards, but okay. We have the hierophant with the keys uh, from the turtle and lots and lots of nature stuff with the pine cones. Lovers, yeah, swans, kind of overdone for lovers, but I'll put up with it, it's fine. Uh, it is a pretty card. Beautiful, beautiful deck. Chariot. I love the hand-drawn kind of feel for the horse. Uh, looks, It does look like oil paint. I do not know the history behind the artist, nor do I know the history behind the techniques, but that does look like oil paint. Maybe it's watercolor. Maybe it's acrylic. I don't know. Very pretty. Very well done. You have the strength. Then you have the Hermit. I like the Hermit sort of just holding on to that. I don't like all the animals kind of facing towards me. I would like some variety. Maybe there's some later. Wheel of Fortune. Uh, pretty much a snake is pretty common with the world. The Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Justice card balancing out the two varied uh, botanicals. Get the Hanged Man, a bat. Kind of overdone, but I do like it. We have Death with the skeletons, uh, butterflies, pretty much overdone. Temperance, again, I love the hand-done, hand-drawn aspect of this. So, so pretty, so pretty. The purple theme just never gets old. I think if you had done any other color, it would have gotten old, but the purple and the variants 
uh, and the good color matching that's been done here is just stunning and beautiful overall. The tower, I like that. I get a little more, <clears throat> get a little more of a uh, skeleton, but with shattered crystals. The star, very pretty. I love that. Very nice indeed. Uh, you got the moon, which I don't think I've ever seen a whale on the moon. Very cool, very nice. I love the moon. I love sort of the hand-painted whole aspect of this deck. The sun, very pretty also. I do have Judgment with the E. Uh, interesting card. I love the phoenix aspect. I love kind of the fiery, you know, the fiery orange fire. Uh, you have the world, which is cool. And then we have the cops. We have the Ace of Cups. Um, okay, you know, sort of a claw pincher type of thing. Two of Cups. I love the combo here. The the uh, the, uh, the fish. We have the Three of Cups with the fish, kind of s s sticking with the oceanic theme here. Four of Cups. Very cute. Very cool. I love sort of the aspect of that. Five of Cups, again, very pretty. So it is sort of a lot of botanical. Uh, maybe some of it's digital, maybe some of it's hand-drawn. If that's, if that's hand-painted, that is precision. So I'm assuming that's digital. All of this is hand-painted. This is hand-painted, um, but the backside is digital. So some of the purple is digital. Uh, let's see the... the um, commonality between these two. Not much commonality. So yeah, some of it seems digital, some of it seems hand painted. Good balance in between that. If I have to if I have to question it, that means that you did a good job balancing it, in my opinion. Seven of Cups. We have a nice little uh, uh octopus I guess. Yeah octopus with some wings behind it, I guess. Eight of Cups, the abandonment so it does obviously vary from traditional Rider Waite Smith stuff, um, but overall, I still like it. Nine of Cups, the ten uh, page, very pretty. Ooh, I love the green. So we've seen a lot of this purple. We've seen some dark green. Now we have this bright primary green, you know what I'm saying? So I love that Knight of Cups that it sort of picks up and runs with it. I like the theme of that. Queen of Cups, dolphins, or whales, or whatnot, pretty good level here. King of Cups, I like the crown kind of just sort of hovering around there. Ace of Pentacles, so I like the fact that the cups are ocean creatures. Pretty consistent with that. And then we have kind of furry creatures here. Ace of Pentacles looking for the next big thing, looking for the next big opportunity. Two of Pentacles and a three. Okay. Interesting, more stable kind of animals, more ground animals. A lot of butterfly insertions of extra things like the butterfly, the birds, what have you. We have more fuzzies with the four pentacles. I love the fur, sort of uh, having fun with the fur. It's not like hyper-realistic, but it is fun. Kind of a, you know, pick it up and run with it kind of feel there. Five of pentacles and a six. Um, the six is interesting. I think it's very pretty eye work there. I love that. And I love the extra fruit kind of feels well. Seven of Pentacles also has that kind of feeling and an eight with the, uh, I guess it's a beaver, beaver and otter sort of carrying there, making a nest. Again, I love the simpleness, but the effectiveness of the fur. Drawn fur is weird. You can get into a situation where you go too realistic. Uh, you also can get a situation where you don't have enough realism and you can't really tell it's fur. And I think that she's found a great balance here between that to where you do insinuate fur, but you don't have to draw every little strand. Kind of like here, right? We don't have to draw every little strand. We can just simulate it. You get the idea, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the overall shape is what is most important. And uh, I love here as well, right? So the value changes 
from light to sort of a dark to light to dark and highlight that with some fur detail. I think it's beautiful. Page of Pentacles, I like sort of the key aspect here and the Knight of Pentacles as well, pretty cool. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, very pretty card. I love the eyes. This person is really, really good with sort of animal eyes and all that. Uh, the crown, it's kind of a cool addition to that. King of Pentacles, very, very pretty. I love the value changes between the sort of the stripes, the harder areas, and the lighter areas. Very well done without being overdone. So, yeah, great, great animal realistic drawings here. Two of Swords, I love the vulture aspect of it. So, it sort of went with a light color. Most vultures, you see, are a, uh, are a bit of a, a darker color in the background. And instead of doing that and sort of blending too much with the background, uh, they made it a little lighter. Love that, but still keeping the vulture feel with it. Three of Swords, sort of the penetration of the heart, but it's a leaf. I like that. Four of Swords with an owl. Normally see an owl on the high priestess or the moon and stuff like that. But picking it up into a Four of Swords and, and, uh, kind of, uh, implying sleep, I think is very cool indeed. Five of Swords, sort of breaking apart the uh, leaves or breaking apart something. Six of Swords with the journey with the birds, the fact that we do have flight journeys uh, with the birds. I like the Seven of Swords, almost like an x-ray into the, uh, the bird. Then we have that bright, pretty grain, sort of implying sort of a, maybe a, uh, a container that the, uh, the thing is in, or maybe a cage that the uh, bird is inside of, kind of cool. Knight of Swords, we have sort of the injury, I guess, with the bird. Um, and then we have Ten of Swords with a, just sort of a, you know, the death, the death theme coming back, a long beak for a page. The Knight, more owls. Queen with a pencil, it's interesting. Sort of implying artistic ability, implying a little bit more in there. King of Swords, very pretty, kind of a feather detail. Very heavy duty feather detail. I like that. Ace of Wands, kind of cute. We have the escape there. We have the Two of Wands with the butterflies. That's a lot of detail on those butterflies. That's a lot of detail on the uh, flowers as well. It's probably the most detailed card I'm seeing right here. It's this one here. And it is extremely detailed. That had to take a very long time to do. Very, very detailed butterfly. Like obscene levels of detail on the butterfly. It really made the grade. Uh, wild looking spider thing going on there with that three of wands. Four of wands. Normally you see a bee in the pentacles because the worker bee, you know, You'll see it in the Eight of Pentacles most of the time, sometimes Three of Pentacles. Uh, I think I've seen one Ten of Pentacles, but mostly it's where you see the bees. The fact that we sort of picked this up with the Four of Wands is kind of nice. It's kind of cool. We have Bugs, which we haven't seen much of that before with the Five. Uh, six of Wands, again, very pretty butterfly. More Bugs with the Seven. Uh, very bright green, pretty eight of wands, nine of wands, you know, the butterfly is emerging, ten of wands with ants, haven't really seen ants with a ten of wands, no, 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 I think I've seen one deck with an ant, ten of wands, I like that, page of wands, more spider action, and very pretty sort of, um, uh, I don't know, is that a firefly kind of thing, queen of wands, more insects, and the King of Wands with an insect. Just beautiful deck. Beautiful deck. Very lightweight when you pick it up. Again, um, card quality could be a little bit better in my opinion. Overall, it's a beautiful deck. Just very, very, very pretty. This is a deck where definitely you're going to use it on stream. People are going to ask what it is, right? Like, what is that? Who made that? Where can I get that? You're, you're going to get a lot on this because it is a stunningly beautiful deck. You obviously have somebody who's very, very good at animal art, <clears throat> and they put a little digit on the background 
as well as a lot of flower, beautiful flower detail. And then they use their animal artwork abilities to sort of enhance and uh, produce the characters. Is this a traditional Rider Waite Smith deck? Absolutely not. But does it really matter? Uh, I mean, this is attractive enough to where it stands on its own. And if you're an advanced user and you're not really all the time trying to lean on the Rider Waite Smith definitions for every card, you know, uh, in other words, you don't see the, the characters. Because a lot of people will make an animal deck and the characters are doing the same things they are in the Rider Waite Smith. In, in this aspect, they didn't do that. Overall, the Shadow Seek the Shadow the Shadow Secret Tarot created by Daniel Trudeau is amazing and uh, highly recommended. Let me know what you think about this deck. Please hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.